on friends and welcome to another video lesson from DVOS Talks. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified of new uploads. This video is part of the playlist called Excel Tutorial and here we'll be learning how to create a data entry form in Excel. Okay, let me get that Excel file. So most of you have heard of uh, of what a data entry form is. And in the good old days, they were used to have these physical forms made of paper, isn't it? But these days, and even if we go uh, two decades back, there have been um, electronic forms uh, around the world. And now we have lots of interfaces. We have web-based interfaces. And it's the, same, it's the same kind of thing that we have electronic forms. So in Excel, we know it's a spreadsheet application, all right, but um, sometimes making data entries, uh, multiple data entries can be cumbersome and using a form, an electronic form within Excel can make things easier actually. So that's what we're gonna be learning in this video. Okay, so why create a data entry form? Yes, to make it easier for you to make data entries um, while using Excel. So you don't need to uh, install some other application, learn some other programming language, simply Excel. Okay, let's get on with it. So we will uh, create a data entry, but before that, we will do some kind of setup to uh, you know prepare the groundwork. So this area over here in Excel is called the Quick Access Toolbar. The one I'm pointing at is Quick Access Toolbar. So right now you don't see uh, an icon here, which is called Form. You have the save button, you have the undo, redo, and then you have a drop down here. So what we're gonna do is we right click on this quick access toolbar area here, we right click, and then you click on customize quick access toolbar. Okay, you will see this pop up and then you under the choose commands from, you drop it down, click on the drop down, and then you choose all commands, okay? Give it some time. Yep. Okay. All commands. Now, at uh, the this pane, I mean this this text area over here, list below. You scroll down now, or you can just click on it, and then you can type F O R M. It doesn't go there. Form. Ah, it's there. So you look for this form. Dot dot dot. You click on that, and then you click on the add button to bring it to the right side. Now it's here on the right side pane. And then at the bottom of this dialog box, you just click on OK. If you see at the bottom, yeah, click OK. The effect is that now in the quick access toolbar area, you can now see the icon called form. When you click on it, the tooltip text shows you form. So this is the first step that you will need. Now we're ready to create a data entry form and it's very, very quick. You can do it very, very quickly. So um, the first thing is that you may have two situations here. One is that you have no data set yet. Uh, that's okay. But you could also have a data set already. It may not be complete. Maybe you only have the column headings. That's all right. Uh, at the bare minimum, you already have the column uh, headers in an Excel sheet. So your Excel sheet, if you want to, I prefer you do in your Excel sheet. Remember, uh, um, there's a sheet name at the bottom. Uh, I gave it a name. You better give it a descriptive name because that will become the name of the form that you'll be creating, okay? So I called this one sales table, all right? And then in my case, I already have some data, but in your case, at the bare minimum, at least you should have already your column headings like this one, these are the column headings I'm highlighting. You may not have these data yet, that's all right. But if you already have some or everything, that's also all right. At the minimum, you have the column headings, okay? That's one. Now, uh, we already have the form button in the quick access toolbar. Now we're ready to make a data entry form. So in your worksheet, uh, click on any cell within your data set. Remember, you have two scenarios. It's either you don't have these or you have or you have data. Okay, so what you do, you click on any cell within the data set 
and then click on the key combination of control T, T for tangle, T for table. So control T. So what happens is you get um, uh, prompted by this, create table prompt, and then it will highlight in some moving lines the data set area which you have uh, selected. Although you only clicked on one click, I um, mean one cell in the data cell, Excel is able to detect uh, the contiguous cells within that cell and is trying to figure out your complete data set. So it has highlighted everything. If that's all right with you, if it's highlighting the correct data set, the complete data set that you need, then you can just click on OK. And what happened is that uh, Excel converted your data set, which used to be in plain text on a spreadsheet, um, into a table. OK, so nicely colored with uh, the column headings have been given a default color of this light shade of blue. And the rows of data underneath um, have uh, been given um, a, a right, a convenient color scheme, which is alternating light blue, white, light blue, white, which gives you, this is not just aesthetics, but it gives you the capability to count. You can visually count rows with this kind of color scheme. As against rows having the same color, it's very hard to count them visually, if you know what I mean. You're not using your mouse, you're not using your hand, you're counting them with your eyes. But with this color scheme, you'll be able to count them, if you know what I mean, okay? So that uh, that little action of control T, that combination key has converted this data set into a table, okay? Now you can click anywhere within the table. This is table now, the whole thing is a table. Uh, you can click anywhere, okay? And then, click on the form button. Remember earlier, our first step was to set up the groundwork, uh, which is to um, add the form button to the quick access toolbar. So now that it's there, you click anywhere in the data set, I click anywhere here, and then I click on form. Voila, then we have the form already. So uh, it has created a form, which is just a graphical reflection of uh, our presentation, if you will, of the data set that you already have. So um, it is being presented to you record per record. Okay, so it's, uh, like I said earlier, it's a good practice to give your sheet a very descriptive name, which will describe your form, your intended form. So it becomes the title in the title bar of your form, your electronic form. So now the sheet name becomes or gets inherited as the form name, sales table. And I have three columns here, MID, employee ID, the name, and number of units sold. Those three columns become the three fields in this form, MID, name, and number of units sold. Okay, so it gives you these nice fields, which are very much um, um, standard for a data entry form, which we have seen many, many times in your workplace or even in school. And it shows you on the right, somewhere on the right, one of nine, meaning you're looking at record number one out of nine records. So if you look at your um, sheet here called sales table, you have nine records, all right, nine records of data, and we are currently at row number one, okay, one cruise. So um, it has some standard buttons here, new if you wanted to create a new record, uh, a delete one if you want to delete a record, Okay, find previous, find next, criteria, close. So we will not get into this right now. The point of this video is to teach you how to create a data entry form in Excel, which you already did, and how to prepare uh, before doing it, the preparation needed, and we already done that. So navigating uh, um, this data set is quite easy. If you point your mouse here, somewhere here, you will see there's a scroll bar, but so it can navigate using the scroll bar, you can see the data is changing, see? Right now it's a record number one. I scroll down, it becomes record number three. Or you can also do a row by row navigation using this up and down arrow key of the scroll bar, okay? So two, now I'm row number two, you look at this. And then I click one more, it goes to row number one. Same thing with the down arrow key in the scroll bar. If I click down, it goes to two, it goes to three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, it doesn't matter where your position is at. If you wanted to create a new record, it will logically go 
next uh, one row below the last record. Right now, the last record is in the record number nine, and ID number nine. Okay, this I this item over here. So although currently in my form I am at row number three, employee ID three, I can click on nine, and it gives me um, fields that are blank ready for entry. So let's just say I'll enter ten. Uh, I'll give it a name, Bill something. Okay. Um, Okay, number of units sold, 565. And then when you click on close here, the close button in the form, then it will get saved. I mean, it will, the data will appear in this in this table. Okay, so we will just close. So it's, it's there, okay? So again, if you wanted to create, you wanted to take a look uh, at this, at the data set in a form, in the form that we created, then you can click anywhere again in the say data set and then click on the form button in the quick access toolbar. Okay, and there you have it. Again, you can create a new record, you can delete, you can navigate using the scroll bar or the arrows over here. So here we've learned how to uh, create a data entry form within Excel, which is actually a cool feature in that besides being, um, convenient to use. It's very easy to create, very easy. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed and learned something from this uh, video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I do suggest you you click on subscribe and click the bell. Okay, I'm going to be seeing you in the next, next video. Okay.